Hello Aquarius and welcome to Blunt Saji Tarot. My name is Robin and Aquarius today we're going to do your January 2024 love reading. Let's talk about you in love in the department of love in the month of January 2024. What do we got? Oh divine timing is at work in your love life. Well Aquarius let's hope that January is the month of divine timing. Let's find out. Let's find out. And Aquarius, for those of you who are interested, I am open for personal readings. If you want one, the link is in the description box below. Well, that's very clear what we start off with. You could have been dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or whoever it was that had a negative influence in your life. You're walking away from that. Okay. And we got the Three of Pentacles, and we got a fire sign coming through here. Aries, Leo, Sag. We have two uh, queens in your energy here. We got the Ace of Wands in reverse. All right, what else we got here? We got the Two of Swords, yeah. We got a Crossroads, yeah. There's the King of Cups. Okay, there's the Four of Swords. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Wands. Aquarius, I see multiple people in your energy. Um, what I feel, we have the King and the Queen of Cups here, which tells me that there was a relationship, there was a divine partnership, someone that you were connected to. I also feel like you're walking away from that. Uh, the Eight of Cups. So this is when I come into my general readings, past, present, future so this is beginning of january middle of january end of january because we're doing a future reading so i do feel like in the present moments or recently or you're about to have walked away well that's weird tense but you're walking away from a connection with the person who had a negative influence in your life it could have been a water sign cancer scorpio pisces there could just be a long history um but i feel you're letting that go you're looking more for a team mate a partner someone who matches your intelligence someone who matches your ideologies you know matches your goals your aspirations someone who matches you um and you have potential here with this queen of wands what is uh so you're letting go of a connection but they're not gone though let me just tell you that they're coming back um but you also have someone else in your energy and i just want to see what you need to know about this queen of wands what do, it could be somebody from work um that had their eye on you you had their eye on them What's this uh, Queen of Wands energy for Aquarius? What do we need to know? Five of Cups in reverse. Whoa. Hmm, there's the King of Cups again. The Seven of Cups. There's the King of Swords. There's and the Wheel of Fortune. There's the Queen of Swords. Well, we have uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> what the hell's going on here? We got the Page of Pentacles. Okay, Aquarius, this is a this is a player. So. There's someone else in your energy here, this Queen of Wands, but they're not a good option. I don't know how else to say that. It's a little bit of a warning about this person. Uh, don't give it up to them. This person's got a lot of people in their energy. I feel this person's emotionally unavailable. I feel this person's very physically attractive. Um, it's kind of what I feel is like they're hot to look at, but when you have a conversation with them, you guys are not in the same playing field. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Um, and it's a no-go for you. I think you block that. You realize this person's not the right person for you. So, um, you know, the rebound person, it could have just been a rebound. There was nothing more, nothing less than just that. Or um, you're, you're just realizing that this person is not loyal. So be aware of that. Um, I do believe that you let that go. What do we need to know about this two of swords here for Aquarius? Got a busy month here. Yeah, you're looking, yeah, and there's the Three of Cups. You're still dating around, you're still looking. There's the Six of Cups, there's the Ace of Wands. There's the past coming back, which I felt. So in January, right now, going into January, you're letting go of a connection. You're healing, you're moving past it. You meet somebody here, it's a no-go. It could have just been a rebound, a casual, a one-night stand. This is not a loyal person. This is not a person who's on your level. The past person's coming back here. They want, and, I, and I, well, I feel you're still dating. You're just dating, getting to know people, just getting out there, right? Just dating, having some fun. But you're looking for someone that you see a future with. The thing is, this King of Cups is making a grand splash into your life because they see a future with you. This is the King and Queen of Cups energy from the past. What do we need to know about this person's intentions? What is? What do you want to say about that here? They don't like that you block them. They want a fresh start. Yeah, there is the Page of Cups. There is there is a Two of Cups. This person considers you their person here, Aquarius. But I see you blocking this. The Four of Swords in reverse, Six of Cups, Swords in reverse, Eight of Wands in reverse. It's a no. Been there, done that, ain't going back. I do feel you've let that go. So I feel you kind of, you might even just block this person, pull back completely, not talking to them, not engaging with them. You're not interested. Um, at the end of the month, I see a single. So I just see you dating. I see some options here. I see a past returning into your energy, but it's a no-go for Aquarius. So um, you're still dating here towards the end of the month, letting that go. I do feel you completely block that person. So that's what we got here, Aquarius. Let's grab some oracles. We'll see what they want to say. We'll get back to the tarot. We'll see what's going on in February. We'll see if you need anyone special, if there's anything good coming through. Let's talk. What do we got here? Surrender to rest and sleep. 
So to prevent burnout, slow down, honor your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, your body, and your spirit. And what is the lesson that Aquarius is learning here in the month of January? Denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Okay. Uh, I do want to grab your energy oracle. I don't really think there's any strong bonds coming through, so I'm not going to do the caring connection. So let's do an energy oracle message, see what they want to say for the month of January. Door to spirit, man holding a heart. Yeah, you're waiting for your soulmate. Uh, I don't think you're interested in these casual things, these little hookups. I just don't think that's what you want. I think that when you come across someone that's not compatible, you're letting them go moving on. Uh, you're looking for your soulmate. This is soulmate energy. This is soulmate, twin flame, soul contract, your life partner, whatever word you like. Um, that's what you're waiting for. You're being very honest with yourself. You're being very open. Um, I just get a very honest, open, I'm not playing games. I'm looking for someone who, who has that real love, that true love. And you're not really settling for anything less than that. That's basically what I see there. So let me grab this tarot deck. Yeah, look, you're looking for someone with chemistry, someone that you've never felt. That's weird that that card came out that I did that in. So I have never felt passion this intense. That's what you're looking for. That's what you want. So let's see if that's coming through here in the month of February. Let's get your potential outcome. Now, when I say potential, there's always free will, darling. You're going to make the decisions you're going to make. When I say outcome, where are you in February? What's going on? What's going down the chute? Where is Aquarius in love? February. Temperance. We got Sagittarius energy in the house. We got the Hermit. We got Virgo energy in the house. I think you're just being patient. Star in reverse, though. Oh, we got three major arcanas here in February. Page of Wands. Oh. King of Swords. And we have the Three of Pentacles. A person that you can work on. A person that you can collaborate. I feel, what I kind of feel here is, I don't know how long it's been since you walked away from that person, but with the Temperance, the Hermit, and the Star in Reverse, I feel like you're like, I've been patient. I've been waiting for the right person. I've been manifesting them. I've been asking for them. I've been looking for them. But nothing's happened. And then, booyah, baby. Page of Wands and that King of Swords. So who's this message from? Who's this person that's got your attention, sparked your interest? Yeah. Who's this Page of Wands for Aquarius? Eight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Could be somebody that, well, the Five of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. Ooh, it's someone that you, and there's the Two of Swords. There's the Ace of Cups. I want one more card just, yeah, the Devil and the Nine of Cups. Okay. Um, this could be someone from work for sure with all these pentacles. This is someone you're taking things slow. You see potential here, Aquarius, with this person. Uh, they could be younger than you. There definitely could be an age difference. So there could be challenges and obstacles in that energy. I feel with this, it could be a Capricorn, but I feel with the devil. When I get the devil in a love reading, it's lust, passion, chemistry, intensity, right? You look in each other's eyes and you can just feel the desire, the want. Um, I feel you're taking it very slow. You want to really work on this, really build this from the bottom up. I see with the Five of Pentacles there and the Page of Swords, you might consider them a little bit of a heartbreaker. I feel a very strong physical attraction, and you just want to make sure that it's beyond the physical nature. And again, this could be someone that you work with, someone you encounter at work, work through a work friend, or work is very important. But what I feel is you're taking this slow. You're really getting to know this person. That intense chemistry, that passion that you want is there with this person. But I feel like with that Page of Swords, yeah, and the Seven of Pentacles, you're investing in this. So... Aquarius, in February, you start to feel frustrated, but then, bam, baby, booyah, comes that person that has that physical connection, that intense chemistry with a lot of potential, and you're going to take it slow. But there's the three of pentacles. It's what you wanted. We talked about it back here, right? You wanted someone that's a team player, someone you can work with, someone you can build with, someone who makes brings value to your life, you know, and you guys better each other, right? And that's what's coming through, and there's a lot of potential. There could be an age difference, too. Um, so Aquarius, that's what's up. That's what I got. That's what's going down. So if you like your reading, if you like my style, I do ask that you like, comment, subscribe, Aquarius. It does help my channel to grow. I thank you. I always appreciate the support. I truly do. Let's close your reading off today with a yes or no question. And yes or no, what's the answer? What's the answer? No. Aquarius, that's what I got. I truly wish you the best of luck. Until next time.